And two other stories now. Professional journalists have been advised to own and manage online media outfits in a bid to stop the spread of fake news. Social commentators believe that this will ensure citizens get accurate information from reliable media sources. TBC News senior correspondent Sharon Ejason reports. According to the American Press Institute, the first obligation of journalism is truth. Also, its first loyalty is to the citizens and its essence is a discipline of verification. Hence, the need to have more media platforms and professionals to disseminate accurate information cannot be overemphasized. Some social commentators are of the view that as citizens encounter ever greater flow of data, they have more need for information managers who are dedicated to finding and verifying news before putting them out. I think it should be encouraged. There was an era in this country when investigative journalism was the big deal. Uh, the era of Dele Giwa and uh, many journal veteran journalists of that period who specialize in uncovering the deep part of stories. Um, you know, I've given up on journalists in Nigeria doing investigative journalism, but it's a welcome development. There's need to get back to um, investigative journalism. And in fact, that would be a major cure to your earlier um, you know, question about how do you cure fake news. Multiple award-winning investigative journalist Fisayo Shoyombo, described as one of Africa's most decorated journalists, launched an online investigative and social newspaper, the Foundation for Investigative Journalism. What people don't want published. And that's why our tagline is journalism beyond press releases, truth beyond officialdom. It will shock you, the amount, and the public as well, should shock them, the amount of PR content, content we consume as news in this country. It's shocking. It's that high. The amount of content that is PR that we consume as news. The world of the media is essential at this point in time. I think they are doing enough. This environment is hostile. This, the, the Nigerian, the current environment is hostile to investigative reporting. The funding is not there. A lot of newspapers are struggling. The pay is bad. There are 1,001 reasons for anyone not to want to do journalism in Nigeria. So the bit that we are doing, yes. Personally, I think the media is doing enough. But FIJ is here to do more than enough. You have to be interested in independent journalism. Journalism that has no political leaning and is willing to go the full throttle you know, to get the people informed. It can't be left to newspaper owners. It cannot be left to, you know. It's a society that is at stake, and those who genuinely want a better Nigeria have to find ways to get involved in funding independent reporting. Many professionals are of the view that good stories empower readers, capture emotions, and provide contest. However, many schools of thought believe that the major function of journalists is to investigate stories and expose wrongdoings and corruption. But this journey of journalism suffers a lot because it lacks profitability and eats up resources. Sharon Jasson, TVC News,